Grade 7, Lesson 3. Properties of Real Number System. So in this lesson, we're going to learn the different types of properties in our real number. Let's start with the closure property. So we have the closure property of addition and the closure property of multiplication. So our closure property states that if you're going to add or multiply a real number or two real numbers, then the sum or product will be a real number also. So let us try. If I have 2 plus 3.5, that is equal to 5.5. So a real number and another real number. If you're going to add, then al sum yan ay real number din. So ganun din, kapag meron tayong 7 plus 2, that is 9. Ayan. Kapag meron tayong 1 half plus 1 over 2 din, that is 1 half plus 1 half, so 2 divided by 2, that is 1. That is also a closure property of addition. Same case, adding multiplication. If you're going to multiply two different real numbers, then ang product niya ay real numbers then. So we have 12 times 1 third, we multiply a real number and another real number, then the product is also a real number. So 12 times 1 divided by 3, that is 4. Okay, 3 times 7, that is 21. Or simply, the closure property is just the addition and the multiplication. We're just going to simplify. And now done, closure property of addition or closure property of multiplication. Our next property is the commutative property of addition and multiplication. So ito, pinakamadali sa lahat. So if we have A plus B, that is equal to B plus A. Yeah. Ito yung pinaka-fundamental natin. So kapag meron tayong 3 plus 5, equal lang yan sa... 5 plus 3. Kapag tayo 10 plus 1, equal lang din yan sa 1 plus 10. Then if we have 30 plus 6, equal lang din yan sa 6 plus 30. So diba ang dadilang yung commutative property of addition? Next, proceed tayo sa commutative property of multiplication. So ganun din, if we have a times b is equal to b times a. So kapag meron tayong 3 times 5 is equal to 5 times 3. O kaya, 10 times 3 is equal to 3 times 10. O di kaya, 4 times 5 is equal to 5 times 4. So ganyan lang kadali ang commutative property of addition and commutative property of multiplication. Property number three, we have the associative property of addition and multiplication. So ito, may kinalaman naman ito sa grouping. Kung kayo na sa commutative, pag interchange na natin, ito naman sa associative interchange of groupings. So let's say we have A plus B plus C, is equal lang yan sa quantity A plus B plus C. Ayan. Pasinin natin, ang nakagroup dito ay si B plus C. Equal lang siya. Kapag ang nakagroup naman ay si A plus B. Ay, ayun yung pinakatatandaan ninyo. Kapag meron tayong A plus quantity 3 plus 5. Well, let's say ang A natin ay 9. 
Equal lang yan kapag ang nakagroup naman ay C, 9 plus 3, then nasa labas ngayon C positive 5 or the plus 5. Next tayo. 10 plus 7 plus 8, equal lang yan kapag ang nakagroup din naman ay C, 10 plus 7 plus 8. Gets? Ito naman, 30 plus quantity 8 plus 9, equal lang din yan kapag ang nakagroup ay 30 plus 8 plus 9. Ayan si ko, uh, associative property of addition. Paano naman kapag si multiplication? The same case, sa grouping lang din tayo. So, if we have A, tapos B times C, Equal lang din yan kapag ang nakagroup ay si A times B plus C. Try natin. If we have 3 times 5 times 6, equal lang yan kapag ang nakagroup ay si 3 times 5 times 6. O kaya, 12 times 3 times 2, equal lang yan kapag quality 12 times 3, times 2. O di kaya, 9 times 7 times 11, equal lang yan kapag 9 times 7 times 11. So, ayan si associative property of multiplication and associative property of addition. Next property is the identity property of addition and identity property of multiplication. Ang identity property ng addition ay zero. That's why kapag meron tayo a plus zero is equal to a. Kaya nga, any number added to zero is equal to that number. Kaya ng 12 plus zero, that is 12. 99 plus zero, that is 99. 1,001 plus 0, that is 1,001. So, yan si identity property of addition. Kapag ano in-add kay 0, yung number pa din na yun, yung magiging sum natin. Ano naman ngayon ang identity property of multiplication? Kung ano yung minultiply mo sa number na ito, yung number na yun ang lalabas. Tama si 1. 1 naman kay multiplication. Kaya pag meron tayong a times 1, that is a. O kaya, 1 times a is equal to a pa din siya. O, try natin. Kapag meron tayong 15 times 1, ang sagot ay 15. 1 half times 1, 1 half pa din. O kaya 1, 1 times 3 fourth, so 3 fourth pa din. Kaya 1 times 17, 17 pa din. So tandaan nyo lagi yan. Ang identity property of addition, 0. Identity property of multiplication is 1. Next property is the inverse property. Start tagging like addition. So, dito sa inverse property, ano yung i-add mo dun sa number na iyon na ang sum dapat ay 0? So, let's say A. Anong i-add natin kay A para maging 0? Siyempre, yung opposite niya. So, kung A, ang opposite niya is negative. Okay. Yung negative value niya. Kapag meron tayo 12, i-add natin Sa negative value ni 12, yan, and that is 0 din. Kapag meron tayong 15, ang negative value na, negative 15, equal to 0. Proceed naman tayo kay inverse property of multiplication. Dito naman, kapag ano yung multiply mo dun sa number na yun, dapat, ang product nila ay 1. So let's say, we have 
A. Ano ko depende din kay A para maging one ng values? Siyempre, yung reciprocal niya. So, ang reciprocal niya ay one over A. So, that is one. So, kapag meron tayong two, ay multiply natin dyan, ay reciprocal ito, one over two. So, yan ay magiging one na. Kapag meron tayong four over three, Ang reciprocal niyan, 3 over 4. The product is 1. So, ayan si inverse property. And our sixth distributive property of multiplication over addition. Over addition or subtraction. So, from the word distributive, so magdi-distribute tayo. So, if I have A, quantity B plus C. Ano yung magiging equal niya? So, i-distribute daw natin si A. So, nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, equal lang yan sa A times B. So, AB and A times C. What is the sign? Plus AC. Ayun. So, pag meron din tayong A times B minus C, that is AB minus AC. Kaya siya distributive property of multiplication over addition or subtraction. I try natin. So if I have 8 times 7 plus 11. So equal lang yan kapag distribute natin. 8 times 7 plus 8 times 11. Isa pa, 10 times 11 minus 12 equal lang yan sa 10 times 11 minus 10 times 12. Yan. Last, 9 times 3 minus 2. So, equal lang yan sa 9 times 3 minus 9 times 2. So, ayan po ang ating distributive property of multiplication over addition or subtraction. And our last property, we have the zero property. Hahati natin siya into three parts. We have the multiplying by zero, zero over non-zero number, and division by zero. So, we start tayo sa letter A, zero property, the multiplying by zero. So, mag-multiply daw tayo ng zero. So, if I have A times zero, alam natin by definition, any number multiplied by zero, that is zero. So, 3 times 0, that is also 0. 101 times 0, syempre, 0 din yun. Madali lang ano, tandaan lang, any number multiplied by 0 is 0. Letter B, 0 over non-zero number. So, we have 0 over non-zero. Let's say, N, that is 0. So, kapag ang numerator natin ay 0, at divide natin sa kahit anong number, ang quotient niya ay 0. So, let's say 0 over 15. That is also 0. 0 over 12. 0 din yan. 0 over 1,001. 0 din yan. And last, division by 0. Alam natin, naman na yan, n over 0. Denominator naman natin ay 0. So, this is not allowed in mathematics or kahit sa science. Ang tawag natin dyan ay undefined. Kaya kapag dinay ninyo sa calculator ninyo, 12 over 0, ang lalabas dyan ay infinity or undefined. That means math error sa ibang calculator or syntax error. 
30 over 0, that is undefined, or the infinity sign, cannot be defined. So, ayan lahat ng ating properties of real numbers, 1 to 7.